Hello everybody, welcome back, I'm Mr. Red Claw, and welcome back to some World of Tanks. But before we get into it, head down below, like, and subscribe, so it does help out a lot, and let's get right into it. So, I'm showcasing another one of the new premium tanks that are here for the Christmas loot boxes. Uh, this time, the Char Emily 75, the tier 9 French light tank, and it actually probably looks like the one that I would probably want the most because first of all French just auto loaders are probably one of my most played and favorite and tanks that I do best at in the game like stuff like the Brask, EBR 75, ELC even 90 all of those tanks I just absolutely love and do absolutely brilliantly in but of course this tank you shoot once but three shells fire so you might, it might only look like it has two shells in the magazine, uh, well it kind of does, but those two shells are basically six shells. So when you press once, three shells fire and you basically can't just interrupt that. Well we kind of can, there's this bug that when you enter the siege mode that this tank has, more on that in a second, uh, it basically kind of interrupts. But I'm pretty sure that is a bug and will be fixed, so I'm not going to go uh, much further into that. Uh, but yeah, it's quite a weird tank. It's sort of like the M3 Lite or something. Uh, the, the tier 4 or 5, I, or tier 3, I really can't remember. Uh, American Light Tank, the one that uh, only has basically, I'm pretty sure, one shell in the magazine, but, only, uh, but fires like five shells upon uh, the one press uh, of a button. Uh, it's kind of similar to that, uh, but of course, it's at tier 9, not at, not at like uh, tier two or three or whatever that tank is at so already within the first couple minutes uh carol over here who is playing in the chart emily 75 today is already up to 2000 damage and that's because this tank might not have the best dpm but this is actually because uh tanks gg uh doesn't really know how to calculate the dpm of this tank it puts it at 1544 but I'm pretty sure the burst is close to 1,800, uh, somewhere in the region of that, like the burst damage of this tank, because it does take quite some time to reload each magazine at 41 uh, seconds without uh, a good crew or anything like that. That is quite a long time, but that's even longer than the EOC even 90, but, but of course, uh, your burst damage in this is 1,200 compared to like 660 in uh what was that even? yeah 660 in the eoc even 90 uh of course you can't really compare this to stuff like the ebr because that is a wheeled light tank and it's just like so much quicker as the brask on the enemy team i, I thought he was gonna try and come up uh, the hill over here but uh no our our char emily is safe over here for now uh try to get the side of the fosh 155 puts in two shots for, uh, for the free fired and will he fire even more get that's the side is he going to fire now that's a thing carol over here is actually doing a really good job because uh not firing when he doesn't need to because uh, as he shuts down the ebr and gets hit by the char emily on the enemy team this tank um it, there's absolutely like absolutely nothing wrong with it but Probably the worst thing about it is, is the ammo capacity, which is only 42 uh, rounds in the, the tank, which might seem like a lot. You know, something like an IS-7 has like around 30-ish or something, but of course, that there's more per shot, and you only fire one shot at a time. And of course, with this, uh, with the three shots per kind of like one shot, it just takes up so much damage. Uh, so much shells away from you that you might have not even wanted to fire because let's say there's a tank left on like 170 hit points you are definitely going to take them out majority of the time with one shot but of course if that uh well but of course uh, you just you fire three shots for per per mouse click and even if you only need that one shot you are always going to fire that one uh, those three shells as uh carol over here amorax the standard b on the enemy team for 1,365. I'm pretty sure that's with like two 
or maybe one additional shell uh, coming in before he actually ammo racked him, but still absolutely brilliant. So, what else is good about this tank? Well, uh, of course, 200 damage, 200 millimeters of penetration on the standard rounds, 240 on the premium rounds. High explosive rounds, not really too good. Uh, 370 damage for 58 millimeters, uh, 53 millimeters of penetration. So, not really the best. Maybe you could uh, use it in certain situations, but as you can see over here, Carol over here only loading the APCR round because this tank does not have a lot of ammo as I just said. Uh, uh, the aim time 2.68 uh, not really the best but it, it does kind of uh, keep uh, kind of the dispersion down it doesn't really bloom out that much this uh, this gun so it isn't really that bad as as we saw over there Carol taking out two tanks with the two shells, but of course the two shells fire six. So he shuts down the Progetto 65 and then the A phase one within a clip, which is just absolutely brilliant. You know, in a Brask, let's say, for example, another really bursty, good medium tank, uh, you could have taken out the Progetto 65 or you could have taken out the A phase one, but not both at once. And that is just uh, the terrifying thing about this tank is just that 1,200 you can basically take out any tier 8, maybe even some tier 9 light tanks and, you know, tier 7 uh, medium tanks, maybe even some tier 8 medium tanks when you high roll and they have, uh, let's say, a little bit uh, lower uh, hit points than anyone else. But as we can see over here, this is just a perfect situation for this tank. Above your enemies, you know, you don't have to worry about getting shot at and just firing down upon them 6,171 damage but there's still four tanks left with about 2,800 hit points left with them but now Carol over here only has nine shells left as he spots the TNH 105, 100, 1000 but he actually doesn't get spotted himself so the, uh, the camera on this tank is actually really good and this will actually allow Carol over here to actually take out uh, the TNH without even being spotted. Now the stationary camo is 12, uh, 16.24 and whilst firing 3.22 but that's when you are outside of the siege mode when you go in it it actually goes down to 12.2 whilst moving and 2.42 whilst uh, firing so that's actually quite a big of a difference so uh, what is the siege mode? Well basically when you are out, out, out of it you are slower but you're good and basically everything about this tank is better but when you enter the siege mode your top speed goes from 55 to 75 your uh, speed goes from 20 to 30 uh, your horsepower goes from 850 to 1250 so that is quite a big difference uh, along your uh, power to weight ratio going from 28 to 42 but as we said your gun gets worse your traverse speed gets worse your camera gets worse your view range actually gets worse by 20 meters actually don't know that until now so basically you can either be a good light tank scouting uh camo decent gun and all of that stuff or you can give all of that up for increased top speed as carol over here shuts down the super conqueror with his last remaining shells in the magazine now it would actually be quite interesting to kind of count through and see how many shells Carol over here would have left if they would have actually only could have fired when they actually needed to instead of that burst that you were forced to do. It would actually be quite interesting to see how much you would have left. But as we can see him showcasing uh, the siege mode over here, going into it, and as you can see, just going so much faster now. But of course, your view range is down, your camo is down, your gun is just so much worse. Um, let's see, the dispersion goes down. Uh, where is it? Where is the dispersion? The dispersion actually stays the same, but the aim time goes up by nearly a second. So, and the uh, the, the dispersion uh, whilst moving, uh, whilst uh, tur turning the turret and after firing, is just so much worse. So, this is kind of the thing. This is a really this is going to be a really good tank for those people who know when to change 
into that uh, get, went to enter the siege mode or went to get out of it but as carol actually shows over here they absolutely know what they're doing it actually has two marks of excellence already within about two weeks of this tank coming out so that is absolutely brilliant and uh, yeah you basically just have to think is losing the camo uh, the view range uh, the gun kind of capabilities worth the increased speed and when it's worth giving up the increased speed to actually become a better light tank and uh, actually being able to shoot fairly well. But Carol over here is left with no ammunition but luckily they do have an object 705A left on their team which actually shut down. I'm pretty sure it was the standard B, I'm not really sure. Uh, but one of the tanks, no, the, uh, of course, uh, Carol over here himself shut down the stand B. But the Object 705A picked up a kill towards the end. Now is just locking down the char Emily 75 on the enemy team, which allows Carol to uh, cap up until the end. So I'm just going to skip forward and let's look at the post game stats. Let's see how well Carol did in this game. So as we can see, Carol over here picks up the Ace Tanker, the Tank Sniper, the High Caliber, and the Invader Medal for capping, of course to 100 now we actually in the game only saw 7100 damage but of course uh he shut down the tnh 105 blind so that's actually 7640 damage with five kills and 1781 base experience now that is actually quite a lot of damage because the potential on this uh, on average is 8400 so actually that means that he actually didn't really not fire when he didn't need to. He always looked for the times when he could, majority of the time, get all three of those shells into the target and not waste any, which is uh, probably a skill that the more advanced players of the tank are going to need to learn to get better at it. And because of the holiday ops and all of that stuff and premium account, uh, earns 160,000 credits profit. So, you know, absolutely brilliant stuff. Great game by Carol over here. And he does say a lot of damage dealt at, at, at the end of the battle. Amazing ending. And that is absolutely what I would say. Absolutely brilliant game in this. One of the best light tanks you could probably get right now in the game. And of course, this being a tier 9, it might meet tier 10s uh, much more often. But, you know, tier 8s always get matched up against tier 10s anyway. So it doesn't really matter. You might just get some. You might as well just, uh, just sacrifice being up a uh, tier, I guess. To get more hit points and all of that stuff but for now there's good so if you guys enjoyed like share subscribe see you guys next time bye bye